Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Uniquely Mia or Mia, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a document accessible in Adobe. So accessibility is very important just to make it accessible to everyone, people with visual impairments, hearing impairments, um, even people who do not have a disability, an accessible document, viewing it from my point of view and my perspective is just more easier and it helps people out. So making a document accessible is very important and Adobe Acrobat is one of like the most common methods to make documents accessible. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the video and if it helps you. And if you want like any more tips on how to make Microsoft Word documents um, accessible or any specific questions on how to make Adobe documents more accessible in more detail, comment down below and then I'll make another video or I'll answer your comment to help you out. So to make a document accessible, the first thing you're going to do is download that PDF document and Adobe Acrobat specifically is for PDFs. So you'll download it from your professor or the company who gave you the document or if you found the document on the internet, download it and then double click the document once it's downloaded and then it will automatically open up in Adobe Acrobat. So first things first, make it widescreen and then to make the document accessible you'll come to these side tabs and you want to click accessibility and action wiz wizard. These are two tabs that you must have but sometimes if you're new to Adobe it may not be here already, so you'll go to tools and then you'll scroll down until you find accessibility within this icon and then you'll add it. So if I want to add it, you'll do that. So going back to our document click action wizard is the first thing you're going to do make accessible and then start so to make it accessible a title is always important so we're just going to type the title of the document where it says title Once that's done, you're going to click OK, and you're going to click OK again. And then it'll just say converting and let it do its process, how it normally does it. Yes. And then Generally, for most images, you will make them a descriptive text because this is kind of hard to describe written out and it doesn't really seem relevant that much. So you'll make it descriptive. But if it was like a paragraph, you would want to type that out. And then it says we have a problem with our heading here. So we'll click the element and then we'll say show and tab. And then you see heading one is up here, but then the heading four is down here. That's distorted, that should be heading two. So we'll go to properties, heading level number two. And now we could just scroll down here to see if it's any other distortion. So that should be heading level three and we'll just continue to fix it like that. And then heading level four, and this should be heading five over here. And then this last one should be heading number six. So then we'll close it and then to double check to see if there is, if we fixed everything or if there's any more errors, we'll go back to accessibility, accessibility check, start check. And then it says logical order. Well, this is good, so we'll put pass, pass, and we'll do accessibility check, and bam, our document is accessible.